guys, uh, thanks for clicking on the buzz where you comment on TMZ's biggest stories on all of our social channels, and we recap the best stories and the best comments of the week. And welcome, Siobhan. Hi, guys. <laughs> Uh, starting out with the big announcement from Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, who are expecting their third child in January, and it's a girl. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Another girl. TMZ broke the story a little while back that Kim and Kanye hired a surrogate for their third child, because Kim has a condition, or she's prone to a condition, called placenta accreta, uh, which I guess was where the, this is a flash, uh, not actual medical advice in front of me right now, but <laughs> basically when the baby grows, the placenta like seems to, tends to attach to the uterine wall and it becomes dangerous. Too um, deeply it attaches to the uterine Too wall. deeply, yeah, I guess it's supposed Whatever to be attached. That means. I don't know. We anyway, don't know it was like really bad with their second pregnancy uh, with Saint. So they are now paying 45 grand for a surrogate. Uh, and, and there's some rules for the surrogate, right? Yeah. Uh, no smoking. That was me like throwing you. Oh, <laughs> there's some rules for the surrogate. You can't smoke, you can't chew drugs. And no hot tubs, hair dye, or raw fish. Oh, no sushi. No. That kind of sucks. I don't know if that'd be worth it. Forty-five grand for no sushi. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I can I can spend forty-five grand in a single sushi meal. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, no. okay. Uh, we got a lot of comments on this. Um, Janessa Soli said, "North and Saint, meet your sister, Wild West." That <laughs> is amazing. That is the best name. It, and it's the funniest joke until it's not a joke, and that's actually what the kid is named. So. Tonya Mayfield said, "Say what you want." about them but they make some cute kids they really do they are they're i mean really their kids cute. are adorable and i don't even like kids and they're adorable they're, very cute. they're adorable for kids riley mclean said did kanye west have to slap i can't even read this comment you know i'll what? do it it's your turn riley mclean <laughs> said did kanye west have to slap one out in a cup Whoa. classy classy riley. classy riley but the answer i is like it actually probably good yes. one riley <laughs> probably <laughs> yes yeah so we broke a weird story about selena gomez this week and according to our law enforcement sources, a 24-year-old male stalker tried to order a penis-shaped bouquet before showing up to her house to hand deliver random gifts and food. I mean, did he hand deliver the penis? Is what that kind of flower? <laughs> it was a flower that looks like penises? Yeah, like a topiary. He, he ordered it, so oh. like no one ever got to make the penis, but that was his artistic vision. Was, I was a penis. See I could I see like a cool. tulip at the top, maybe with the little, mm. I, don't, I don't know, maybe a giant shiitake mushroom and then or a portobello, I guess. And, Ew. That's a plant, so you could put that in the, I don't, I don't really know. I don't design penises, but yeah. Um, crazy, weird story. Super weird. I'm glad that it didn't happen and she's safe <laughs> from penis flowers. You know, water it, it grows. It could be kind of cool. <laughs> okay. Chica Cruz uh, said, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah, I don't, unfortunately. I don't think that's true. Yeah, well, I think in this case, it's not good that it's the thought that counts. No, no thank it's you. It's a weird thought. Um, Rosemary LaCola said, I imagine the talented floral arranger crying as he or she made that. Like, crying with laughter, I would hope, right? Or like... I think I'd call the police. <laughs> really? You I would, wouldn't? You would just be like, I'd oh, well, they're in weird stuff, and then just like make it? Uh, yeah. Would you charge a double? Oh, it depends how big the penis is. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Would you like one ball or two? <laughs> okay. Carmen Press says, well, my husband's ex-wife once had penis-shaped candy delivered to my work, so she ain't special. Ooh, well, was that's weird, right? My <laughs> husband's ex-wife. So I like, would be like, oh, thank you. So I love candy. I, I guess, yeah, it just seems vaguely threatening, but also sugary and delicious. So. But is it threatening if it's his ex-wife, <laughs> not his new wife? It's kind of weird. It's just I like, here you go. You hmm. have a penis, have some candy. And she just wanted to fatten her up. I don't know, so we would leave her and go back to the ex-wife. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Uh, Sheena Full... Oh, boy. She <laughs> Sheena, Holy I blessing. apologize in advance. Um, Sheena full of check. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, full of check. We'll call you that. Am I the only woman that would have thought it was cute and funny? Yes. No. No, Sheena. You're not. You would have thought it was cute and funny if that showed up I at mean, your door don't from send that a to me. person <laughs> but that you didn't know. I like flowers. So, okay. And penises. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Moving on. We've got a pair of hot new couples starting out with Jamie Foxx and Katie Holmes. AKA nice. Jam Cat. No, I prefer to call them Foxy. I, I prefer that. Like, get it? Like, F O X I E? Oh, that's. See? Not... That's better, right? Jam Cat, Foxy? Well, All right. They've, whatever. Jam Cat or Foxy, whatever, has <laughs> been dating for a while, but now they're showing PDA. Yeah, they finally, like, come out. 
because they've been dating for like a few years, a I think, years, at least yeah. at least rumored to be. Um, yeah, and they're like out on the beach and everything, holding hands. It's they're pretty cute. cool. I love that. I really love them together too. I want her to come out on Beach Shazam, his show, like be like this special guest because they have celebrities on there sometimes. Playing I think the, the be being cool. the DJ, helping yes, the DJ. in the DJ booth. It would be pretty awesome. That would be fun. Or singing a number from like Chicago or something. Oh yeah, can that she, would be kind of cool. Sing. That would be good. I think so. She was in one of those musical things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tatiana Amaro said, this might seem crazy, but I kind of love them together. I mean, yeah, you're not alone, Tatiana. We love him too. It's like consensus. He's the best. <laughs> Kayla Dean says, her contract with Tom must be up. Okay. That's all rumors, Kayla. We don't know. <laughs> Please don't divorced. kill me, Scientologists. <laughs> They've been divorced five years? I think so, which does seem like the right amount of time for because some sort of a clause. Like, exactly hmm. a lot. Interesting. It's like a, exactly the amount of time they were married. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Hmm. But we don't know. We don't know. But Kayla may be onto something. Maybe. <laughs> um, Pamela Reed Spencer said she sure deserves a good guy after that wackadoodle cruise. I mean, is he a wackadoodle? He makes good movies. I gotta say, I, no matter how weird he gets, like I still like his movies. Me I'm too. a Tom Cruise fan. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, Pamela. <laughs> <laughs> Yolanda McIver says it's funny how Jamie was Tom Cruise's friend and now he's with her. Watch your friends around your relationships. Wait, is she saying that Jamie like swooped in and stole Katie, even oh, though that's... they were broken up for like a really long time? Ridiculous. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But... No, no, Yolanda, no. <laughs> but but uh, maybe never you a bad idea know. to watch your friends around your relationships. Yeah. All right, maybe we'll go just, with that. Like don't let your best friend like <laughs> sleep over at your house with your husband there without you. Maybe I don't know. Oh yeah, that's that's, that's a good tip. Like, <laughs> like in the same bed as your wife? Yeah. Good tip. I'm sure Shania Twain would, would second that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, and Dolly Parton, Jolene, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Um, Donna Santos Marici said, I think it's great that they were able to keep it private. It's such a special time. They should have something that's just theirs. Good for them. Many wishes for a lifetime wow. of happiness. Mazel tov. I added that. I don't but, yeah. think. Donna and I would get along. <laughs> too happy for you, huh? <laughs> too much. Too much Siobhan is not a happy person. No. So. <laughs> Definitely okay. not. A new hot couple alert. Another one, actually. Uh, Kendall Jenner and Blake Griffin. Uh, they went on a double date with Chandler Parsons and Haley Baldwin last week, but we also spotted them out uh, at the beach in Malibu during the heat wave, and it looks like things are heating up between them. <laughs> Come on, oh. that's adorable. They're eating up. That is like awful. Bad. Okay, and they're cute together. I do you really think they're together? I don't know. I mean, they're like, both tall. Yeah, but they just like <laughs> that's good, right? Happen to be seen at the same party, so it doesn't well, make you a couple. I, so you okay, I'll say they've banged. How about that? I, I, I don't believe it. I don't know. Okay, uh, well, Matthew Robinson says. Well, there goes Blake Griffin's career. Oh, because Wait, it's like why? because it, it like blame the woman thing, Kardashian curse thing. I don't know. That's rude, Matthew. You know, Blake can take care of his own career, right? <sighs> well, Nelson Vega says, "R.I.P. Blake Griffin, gone but not forgotten." Here he lies with Chris <laughs> Humphries, Lamar Odom, French Montana, James Harden, Tristan Thompson, Ray J, Reggie Bush, Kanye West, etc. Kardashian okay. curse. That's unfair because a bunch of those guys are still with the women that they're they're were with. Wait, who? Only Kanye. Tristan Thompson isn't with. Me. Oh, Chloe. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And Reggie Bush met the person he was supposed to be with, and they just had their third baby. They're doing okay. Yeah, but he's like gone and forgotten, right? Reggie Bush. When do you hear about Reggie Bush ever? I just told you stuff about Reggie Bush. He's oh, married. Right. I did just, just hear about Reggie Bush, and I was baby. wondering where. And it, it was from you, like five seconds ago. <laughs> Weird. Whoa. Whatever. Okay. Um, okay. We uh, spotted a new interesting look for Christian Bale, who was promoting a film at the Telluride Film Festival, right? But uh, something was different. I don't know. I do. I know what happened. <laughs> I don't know. He packed on a couple of pounds to <gasps> play Dick Cheney. How dare you? I think he still looks great. I mean, I would never say that about him. No, he looks <laughs> thick. See how I made you say that? Oh, yeah. I see. Trust me. No, but he looks like legit different bad. He does. Uh, no, did you say bad? Uh, oh, no, I meant. Yeah, I said that. No, he just looks different than he normally does. Because we're used to seeing him in like being like super buff in Batman or like super skinny in The Machinist, and now he's super Dick, Dick Cheney size. Yeah, because <laughs> he's playing Dick Cheney, so that's cool. I can't believe he can like lose weight 
and gain weight so easily. I agree. How? Well, I mean, I can gain weight so easily. Write a book yeah. about it. Yeah, but how do you get it off? I can write a book about how to gain weight quickly. Yeah, and then do you, you want that book? Don't Does anyone want to buy that book? No. I don't. Okay. Yeah, the losing weight the part. The losing weight is hard. He was so small in The Machinist. Yeah, so I don't small. know. He like just oatmeal like every three days or something. It was something That's ridiculous. Healthy. It's not Every healthy. three days. <laughs> it's probably not healthy. <laughs> okay. One thing it's a lot of fiber, though, so it's good for your colon. Okay. Joseph Rodriguez said, one of the greatest actors of our time, always willing to physically and mentally delve 100% into a role. Yeah. He's, he's pretty cool. He's I mean, yeah. Also a little crazy. We've gotten some crazy audio of him on sets and I such. I love those audios. But he's very devoted. la -dee -da. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you just walk right by <laughs> like la dee da dee da It's pretty good. Lynn Kelly it says, it's sad these actors have to put their bodies through this. I know it's a lot of money, but still, learn from Tom Hanks. Why would Tom Hanks? Yeah, he shaved, shaved his head. The castaway. But he's fine. Yeah, I don't get it. Oh, I, maybe they're saying because because Tom Hanks only does like major hair transformations. Oh. Like he shaved his head in like Philadelphia. He grew oh, it all out and cast it, away. Got it, got uh, it. I, don't know, I just made that up, Lynn. Maybe you could help us out. I don't, Lynn, we don't know what you're talking about. Okay, <laughs> but um, Elvis stole my candy nine. I enjoy that name. Odd that you had to put a nine after it, like someone else is actually named Elvis Stole My Candy. And an underscore. Weird. Or eight, eight other people are. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, seems unhealthy to pack on that much weight in a short amount of time. He looks happy, though. Yeah. He's promoting this film. Yeah. I mean. He's at a festival. He was holding a beer in some of the pictures like, I saw. Yeah. He or looks wine. like he's, he's having fun. Wine. Some sort of drink. And he was smiling. Yeah. I think he was enjoying himself. So, you know. Cool. <laughs> Andrea Amanda says, I'm more concerned about his eyebrows than his weight. What's wrong with his eyebrows, Andrea? They're funky. What's wrong with them? They're just funky. Are they like too thin? Uh, they're white. They're yeah. white? They're like gray. Well, he's an older, distinguished man. He has gray hair. I don't know. What do you want, Andrea? Well, because he's also Dick Cheney. Doesn't he have white hair? Oh, yeah. See? More devotion to the part. He actually killed off all the melanin in his hair. Oh, you <laughs> or that. Okay. Um, that's all we've got for you this week. Make sure to follow us on all of our social channels for the biggest stories throughout the week and leave a comment yourself and we might see you here on The Buzz. Well, not you, but your comments. Your comment. comments. <laughs> we, we knew we knew that. See you next time. Bye. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean, it's right here. It's easy to click. Go ahead and press it. I know you want to. And there's more episodes <laughs> of the TMZ Buzz for you to watch. Maybe you'll like one of them. <laughs> or maybe you won't, but still click and watch them anyway. <laughs>